Okay, here we go. Final question of this paper. We're told that ABCD is a parallelogram and we've got some various different measurements. So we got the lengths of various sides and different angles. We're asked to calculate the area of the parallelogram. Hmm. And we're asked to give our answer to three significant figures. Now, I'm a little bit suspicious because we're right at the end of the paper. We've got angles and sides and I actually, not only do I see parallelograms, I see triangles. So I'm thinking trigonometry. In particular, I'm thinking that non-right angle trigonometry that is often associated with the sine rule, the cosine rule, and the half AB sine C rule. So, I'm thinking if I can get the area of this triangle here, call it triangle 1, well, all i got to do is double it, and then I've got the area of the whole parallelogram. So let's work towards that. Now, in order to get the area of this, I'm going to need two sides and the angle trapped in between. So let's go and try and work out this angle here. I also see that I've got uh, an angle and a side that seem to correspond with each other. And I've got a side here, which means I could work out the angle over here by using the sine rule. If I've got the two angles, I can get the third, and then I can probably solve the problem. So we're gonna use a version of the sine rule, which is not on the front of the paper, but you should know about it. I'm gonna call this X, okay? So, uh, sine, sine, of the angle x divided by its corresponding side 9 should be equal to sine of the angle 100 divided by its corresponding side 11 which means that sine x should equal this times 9 9 sine 9 sine 100 over 11 which means that the angle x oops uh, the angle x should be found by doing the inverse sine of everything here 9 sine 100 over 11 so let's get the calculator out here and see what happens oh he's gone again so I need to do the inverse sine of, and it's a fraction, and the fraction is 9 sine 100, remember to close that little bracket off there, over 11. Come back outside and close the bracket off completely. It equals, and we get 53.6829, etc. So we'll take the 53.6829 and let's take it to uh, two decimal places 53.68 so we don't want to lose too much ac accuracy uh, 53.68 so that should be enough to make sure that we don't lose too much accuracy and get uh, an answer that's too far away from what the examiner requires um, so we know that x is 53.68 that means if I want to get this angle here, I'm going to do 180 minus 153.68. Let's see what that works out to be. Uh, so take the calculator back and we're going to subtract. Uh, I'm going to do 180 subtract 53.68, which is going to give us 126.32. One, two, six point three two, um, which is certainly wrong. Let's just check that again. Uh, ah, very, very careful. It should be one hundred and fifty three point six eight and twenty six point three two. That looks better. Twenty six point three two. Lovely. Okay, so we know this is twenty six point. Three, two, and the area of this triangle here would be a half a b sine c. So the area of the triangle would be a half a b sine c, which is on the front of the paper. But this triangle and this triangle are identical, 
which actually means that the area of the whole shape is not going to be half AB sine C, it's simply going to be AB sine C, where this, we're going to use that side and that side and the angle trapped between. So we're going to do 9 times 11 times sine of 26.32. And let's get the calculator out for this part. We're going to do 9 times 11 times sine of 26.32. Close that off. And we get 43.89 to three significant figures, 43.9. So, 43.9, and that should get you all five marks.